Have you ever thought about just traveling to the other side of the world with a one-way ticket? Well, I have, and that's what we are doing in about two hours time. What? We're currently at Heathrow Airport. Lois has bought the fish finger. It's a fish fingers app. Oh, it's because I'm used to having fishy fingers with me. <laughs> you haven't been with me for about 20 <laughs> days, so I don't know where that's come from. We get on the first flight, which takes, well, it says it takes 12 hours and 55 minutes. However, I checked the wind and it said that the wind is going the same way. So it could push us on ever so slightly. And the second flight is um, seven hours to Adelaide. We have a four hour layover in Singapore for four and a half hours. So next thing you know, we'll be on the flight. We're currently at Singapore Airport. Didn't film anything on that other flight. We're currently wearing sunglasses because we're using the single time shifter. It's amazing. The jet lag apparently it's supposed to make it really not have jet lag at all. So we'll see. It's 2 p.m. in England but it's now 9 p.m. Singapore time and Adelaide half midnight. I don't think this flight is going to be too busy to be honest because we were thinking who goes to Adelaide? Even the backpackers? No yeah, but even backpackers as well. Like you don't, you don't go to Adelaide. Oh, wow. It's not going to be too much about it. No. In Adelaide. <laughs> Actually, really nice. Never had a maki salad before, but it's actually decent. I was going to say, for a maki salad, this is beautiful. We're currently just going to the little park over there. That's a little, it's actually massive. We're just going to have a little walk around because obviously we've been sat on flats for God knows how long. And then we're going to go to the Woolies and get us some bits and bobs. 30 degrees, but this is very hot. It's future Ellie. While I'm editing this, I realised that it jumps around a lot meaning you see me at the airport and then you see me at mcdonald's and then you'll see me at a place called glenelg beach when i'm in glenelg beach that's actually today for us and that's the 5th of january we landed on the 2nd so all the clips before glenelg that is the 2nd of january the reason why we haven't been filming is because we took some time to get over jet lag and everything like that and as well on a serious note lois had a bit of a swollen leg um when she landed and it caused her a lot of discomfort so we went to the hospital mainly was there for quite a while but she was told she has dvt which is deep vein thrombosis which is basically a blood clot in her leg she's fine you're fine mm. Mm. she needs to take it easy doctor told her that it's going to go away on its own it should do within a couple of months and she should be fine but that's why we've had a big jump in clip here but I'm, what i'm going to do is maybe film for the week and see how we get on a little bit here a little bit there every single day next clip for glenelg beach as day four <laughs> first day at glengel ah! Glenelg Beach. This is good. It's beautiful here. The sea is so clear. Like, That's it's lovely. so, so nice. We've got our SPF 50. Because I'm with Ginger. Welcome to Glenelg Beach. Huh? We're gonna have a little walk. Maybe get a beach bed in the beach club. I'm not sure. It depends how much it is. Mostly Might beach. Be. I don't even know if it's open. Lois just said that there's some girls <laughs> over that side. There's some English girls going, oh my god, it's so nice. It's so nice. It's so nice. First time walking on the beach. <laughs> we ordered some pita and some sauce. I don't have a clue what that is. 
I'm so incredibly pale still. Just got back to the hotel. We've had a shower. Lovely stuff. 